Hey YouTube, Green Ninja from Dirthead Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. In the tour of the combination lock thing I made, um, you might have seen this, actually I'm pretty sure you definitely saw this, and um, yeah, that's because uh, I said I'd made a tutorial on it, and um, yeah, it turned out I accidentally deleted the tutorial, so I'm going to redo it, and this time it'll be a lot better. But um, so what this does, it senses when it's day or night. Um, when it's day, this light will be, this lamp will be off, and when it's night, it'll be on. And it's really easy to make. You can make it more accurate. I guess it'll make it more. It could make it more accurate, but it could make it less accurate. It just depends how you, how you think of it. But by just putting more of these, but I'm just going to do two for now. <coughs> so that so. I'll just show you how it works because I'll go time set 12,500 which is the beginning of night and in a minute these two should go inside here. So he's already gone inside but you need both of them. The thing that makes it work well is that you need both to go inside. And then as you see that goes on like that. And then if you set it to day, time set zero, in a minute one of them will come out and then that will turn the lamp off. Because the it basically works out. Test certificates can sense when it's day or night, so like at night they go inside the houses so they don't get ragged by zombies. And now I'll show you how to build it. It's really easy to make. All you need is uh, some sandstone. Oh, uh, and obviously with this, you need a bit creative unless you can find a way to get some villages into there. Uh, so you need sandstone, uh, mob eggs for villages, redstone lamp, uh, redstone a wooden pressure plate, and redstone torch. And so what you do, uh, you just build a thing, a couple of blocks long. You can make it as long as you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to make it this long. And it uh, has to be three high. Like that. And then you go around here and build it off this side. And then once you've done this, you add another row onto that side. So I'm just doing it now. Okay, so now that you've done that, you want to put three layers of sandstone there, over there. I'm um, sorry, for this you'll also need a wooden door, I just forgot, I just remembered. Um, and to make it a little bit better, I'd use a torch as well. So, here you need to break under there like that, and then you can put these two blocks there. Then get a trail of redstone coming up through here and okay so then go inside uh, put a wooden door like this make sure it's from this side because if it's not the test if it could be inside but not on a pressure plate it would screw it up like that and then you open it just go outside put a stone pressure a wooden pressure plate in there and a little torch uh, do the same for the other side and you're nearly done now what you can do is just build a little AND gate here. They're really easy to make. It's just three blocks, redstone in the middle, oops, torch, 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 and then link that up to the lamp. And now, last step, just put two test one test certificate in each one. And yeah, I'll show you how this works. So I'll try and get an above view so you can see. Okay, so right now, so uh, right now, they're both outside, as you can see, and the lamp is not on. If you go time set 12,500, uh, it goes to night, it gets darker, they sense that it's night, and in a second they'll walk inside and turn that lamp on. So one of them's already gone in, and the other one's gone in. And as you can see, that light there, they both walked into there, and now it's on. If you go time set zero, which is dawn, yeah, dawn. Then in a second one of them will come out, and it only requires one of them to come out because of this AND gate, which is the three blocks with redstone two torches on them. Yeah, so as what you see, one of them came out, and the other one is still in. Now, I'll just quickly explain how this AND gate works. Um, when both of them are inside, these both of these uh, currents will be on, 
and then because they're on, they'll be powering these torches, and these torches will turn off, and so then that will turn off. But if only one of them is turned off, the other one will still be on, and it'll still power that. And that needs to be if when that's powered, that then this torch here will be off, and then one will Okay, sometimes it's a bit inaccurate; they might go inside, which is why it's more it can you can improve the accuracy by putting more rows of this on. But I'm not going to do that now. But if you wanted to, I'll just quickly show you what you'd have to do. So if you had another thing there, yeah, there's a one block gap in between each thing, and then you go you'd have a little there, there, and there. Then here you would have another and gate. Um, so you'd have both of these going under the thing. When that's powered, when both of these are powered, these would lead to another AND gate, which would then power the lamp. And then you can just repeat this however however many times you want to get more accuracy. It can be less accurate though, because at night one of them might stay outside, but during the day it's a lot more accurate. Right, guys. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like if you liked it, and uh, comment if you want me to do a specific tutorial. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.